morning, everybody. Um, driving in the rain, so bear with me. Um, this morning, I got an email from Penny, and any of you that are on bodybuilding.com that follow her know she has a meet this weekend. And one of the questions that she asked me, um, I'm not sure I answered it well, so forgive me, Penny. I had not been up very long, and we did not have coffee in the house. So, I was struggling. And uh, anyway, it's a, it's a really valid question, especially for those of you that have either not uh, experienced a meet yet or, you know, are, are still somewhat inexperienced. And the, the thing I will always teach and always tell you is to train the way that you want to compete. And uh, I've never really covered this in depth with many of you. But, like, the, her big question is what should she warm up with based on her attempts? And uh, how you warm up in the gym, aside from, like, if you if you have access to a bunch of machines and dumbbells and stuff like that, it's not going to be the same in a meet. You're basically uh, going to have plates and a platform, and, and that's, that's it. We will bring uh, bands and stretching sticks and, you know, while I don't use them, most of the lifters will have a foam roller and various other rolling instruments with them, and even a couple of kettlebells. We keep those kind of handy to do goblet squats and swings and, you know, that sort of thing. I don't use them, but, you know, I'm all for whatever anybody wants to use. Um, the big thing is to keep your warm-up routine the same. What you do in your warm-ups when you train is what you should do with as, with as close proximity as possible in the warm-up area. So what I'm going to do a little, this isn't a really big broad conversation, but the idea is consistency and that way there there's no surprises come game day. You go in the warm-up room, if you you start with the bar, you do the same thing at the meet. And, and your plate progression or your weight progression should be the, relatively the same. I try to be as consistent as I possibly can. Uh, Penny is lifting in the USPA. Uh, I'm pretty sure they will use kilos on the platform. I, I don't know what meet she's doing specifically uh, and who the meet director is, but by and large they use kilos, if not always. And, but I'm going to bet that they'll use pound plates, which is fine. That's what you're familiar with. And uh, so warm up accordingly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to post this video when I get out of the car and have a moment. And then I'm going to take Penny's lifts as an, uh, as an example. And then I'll post the warm ups and, uh, and see if that makes sense. And again, my, my hope with all of these is not just to teach or to tell you exactly what to do and just do it the way I say it. You know, I'm, all, I'm always welcome to uh, conversation, even if I don't agree with it. And as you have seen, uh, like my, com my comments about the foam roller, I'm not afraid to stand my ground, but my, the whole point of all that is to say, if you think it works, then knock it out of the park, you know. But I'm going to, you know, I'm just going to call it the way that I see it. Um, that's that's what has made me successful. It's what's made me successful as a coach. But if you dig it, you know, not just just do it, you know, and, and make it make it your own. So uh, once I have a moment, I'll type all this out, and hopefully it'll spark some conversation. All right, you guys have a good day.